Karen's mom. Today we're going to try an experiment. Taught dyeing um, 400, no, four ounce skeins, about 800 yards, Erin, you said? 880, yeah. Of Morehouse Merino Lace. All right, she's undone the hank. I've got some water boiling and I'm going to take five packages of unsweetened cherry Kool-Aid. Shake it down so it doesn't get too, whoops, I've got my scissors. But at this point, I'm actually going to turn the water off. Pretty amazing how the wool is going to absorb all of that Kool-Aid. But before I empty all the packages, and this is always an experiment. The more Kool-Aid you use, the more vibrant your colors are going to be. Don't need that one. So let me grab it. I'll give it a good stir. And here we go. It comes out differently every time, I'm pretty sure. I've just done uh, carded wool. But I suppose what we'll need to do is twist it around so that it can go into the bath and there it goes. I'm going to use my wooden spoon. Ooh, look at that color. I don't want to stir it up too much because we'll do something crazy with the, the skein. It'll be a pain to unravel or wind up into a ball. But basically that's it. I've turned off the heat. I'm just going to let it sit and we'll come back in a little while and check the status of the color as well as the status of the water. Right. In the next pot we're going to use green apple and again depending on how green you want it to be. Very green like ooh. Ooh. Okay, who knew? Word, word to the wise. We'll turn the heat off on the back. Give it a good stir. Now, I was using a wooden spoon before, but if you don't want your favorite utensils to possibly turn color. Like our tongues when we were little? Like your tongues when you were little. Or our shirts, oh my goodness. All right, now Erin's gonna help me out with this one because we're gonna experiment and try a tie-dye type with blue a raspberry lemonade. Packages of the green because that's what was in the cupboard. Um, it was on sale this week at the grocery store, so five for a dollar. So, deal. Beautiful color. Oh, look at that one. I'm gonna give it a chance to kind of like add your coffee to the boiling water from the microwave. So, and it smells good too. That's the funny thing about the wool seems to absorb some of the odor. Yes, you can smell. It sort of smells like cherry. All right, we'll give that one a stir as well. And we were thinking popsicles. So blue raspberry and lime together. And what kind of wool are we going to use for this one, Erin? Just, just a smaller amount? Yeah, we're going to put half in one and half in the other, right? Okay. See what happens. We haven't done this before, so... <laughs> Just drop it in. Okay. Yeah, I think because there'll be some blue and there'll be some green and there'll be some white. Cool. Kind of looks like angel hair spaghetti. Ooh. Okay, now about how long? Oh, let's come back in about half an hour. We want the water to be cool enough for at least we can stand it. And See what's going on. All right. See you then. How do we know when it's done? Well, I keep looking at the water. And I'm going to pull it away from the side there, and you can see that you can see down to the bottom of the pot the, the Kool Aid dye is being absorbed. And just a matter of your choice. If you like that, is, does that look like cardinal or geranium? I don't know. I like or, color. Let's keep going. All right. So we'll come back and check it in 10 minutes or so. Okay. All right.
Rachel was a hand spinner. She got some wool from Scotty, one of our Romney Rams, and um, went to town spinning. You can see that she was a beginner at the point, but she did a really nice job. And then she took some Kool-Aid and not only labeled them with the Ram's name, but also the kind of Kool-Aid that she was using. Um, these two are a little bit finer, and this is a really pretty kind of pastel yellow. She likes using the yellows, the blues, for uh, baby things. It says, and believe it or not, the babies do not wind up with blue necks or um, yellow, yellow cheeks because they rubbed their hand or their arm against their mouth while they were wearing the sweaters. So I believe is, that you could never get it off of us when we were it little. Is, it's color, color fast and pretty amazing. So those are just some of her experiments. I think this one was black cherry, and you can see because of the different. Um, it's not a uniform weaves or spin, so you've got a variation in color, which is almost like, um, what's the, variegated? But a, yeah, a little bit. I almost wonder if there was some, maybe some darker wool in there. That's really pretty. I like that color a lot. Cool. So th that's what spinners and, and knitters do for fun. I'm gonna take out the four ounces of Morehouse lace. Ooh, cherry. I might have to get the tongs here to you know what, let me drain some of it first and then we'll go right into the, but you can see how the water is clear. So all of the dye has been absorbed into the wool. All right, let's see what happened in the blue and green pots. All right, this is our popsicle skein. So we've got, ooh, wow. Whoa. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Those are two of my favorite oh, colors too. Gorgeous. Isn't that neat? All right, we'll bring that over to the colander and then Oops, unclip it. The same thing. With the it matches your shirt. More of an ombre. Oh, I wore this just on purpose. Oh, gorgeous. So, we'll let these drip dry a little bit and then hang them out to get sun dried since it's a beautiful afternoon. And All right. There you go. Now, notice this one stayed in, well, in the skein, twir all twirled up at the hank. So, we're going to get a lot of blue variation. All right, outside we go. Because I am never going to be able to wind it up exactly as you see it here. What do you think, Jewel? Yeah. 